morning guys and this is uh, the next day we are at this Shalom and we have done our whatever format is like getting fresh up and getting ready right for today and uh, uh, today yesterday itself we have done our darshan and uh, done our all the rituals like we have went to the temple and we went there we had our presents and like that first of all we will be heading to the ropeway and later on I will be showing you some kind of viewpoints which are uh, in our own way and like uh, we were in an uh, uh, like uh, Ghanaman's dormitory so we were been here itself for the whole night and they have got, charged us nearly about uh, 70 to 1800 around approximately and it was quite a better state uh, for the four people and uh, right now we will be heading over and you can have a look over there yeah and the uh, yeah, the security person has been cleaning our vehicles. Another CJ. <laughs> and right now we have ready. Uh, we are not taking our luggage and just we are heading towards the uh, like viewpoints and uh, what all we can do the activities right over here in the Sri Shalom, guys. Hi guys, and uh, right now it's. Uh, 10.30 a.m. in the morning at Sri Shalom and uh, we are having our tea break right Guys here we are, here we are at the rope station and uh, the ticket has been costing nearly about 65 to 70 rupees for an adult and it will cost about 45 rupees to 50 rupees for a child who is uh, like uh, about 2 years and uh, this is how it looks like in the rope station and Later on, I will be showing you uh, how we have got into the ropeway uh, ticket and uh, this is how you can, uh, this is how you will get your ticket and this ticket is for the up and down. This is the ropeway station guys and have a look, this is like a kind of missionary to uh, maintain the ropeway. Actually, the view is awesome. Woo! Woo! Have a look over here, guys. The view is literally awesome. And guys, we are in this one, this cabin. And that's how the rope goes. It goes still down there and uh, actually the view over from here is literally amazing guys boating point this is where you have to get into the boat and uh, like it's a bay kind of way right over here actually those uh, round cup shaped they are for the fishermen actually not for any kind of visitors and actually you can see there uh, there is a boat right over there which has been taking you to the dam that's the actual boat and uh, that will be taking you to the dam and it will show you uh, some kind of caves over there there are few caves inside that one they quoted that and that will be costing you nearly about 400 to get into that one and this is how it looks and we have to go far away try to that place Ankara. and this is uh, okay guys and right now we are getting started back to our hometown mm, right now we have check out for the room okay let's roll Harara Mahadev Shambho Shankara by all the blessings of the God Lord Mahashiv Mahashiv we have completed our journey we have completed our task of taking the dar darshan of the Sri Shalam Mahadeva and uh, everything completed so good and well it was like a very peaceful in all the terms 
and uh, getting started right now and on the Sri Shalam hills uh, near the temple we only got one petrol bomb uh, one fuel station that's what on um, this is the only one fuel station uh, up to nearly 40 kilometers I think so because of the dense forest in between uh, there is no other fuel station so it is really important to get ourselves fueled up so that it won't be any kind of risk or issue further I don't know what the fuel plus here right now it's actually showing uh, whatever it may be <laughs> the, we have to fill the fuel and we have to roll out that's it and right now guys we are heading to the Shikaram this is called as Shikaram and uh, right there we will be clicking some photos and uh, I will be showing you the view over there also. Uh, okay guys, this is uh, where the Shikaram place looks like actually. We have to go upstairs. There you can see we have to go this way. We can get in here on our vehicles itself. Here is a Shiva temple, Shikareshwara, it is known as Shikareshwara temple. Literally guys, the view is so good. Hmm. You can see a lot of uh, beauty of the Nalamala forest. This is Anandi's statue over here, we can... And there is a huge hoarding, which is in the shape of a Shiva Lingam. And literally, it's a like of delight to the eyes. And this is a secondary downhill from the Sikaram viewpoint. And in this region guys, this is uh, after that uh, Uma Maheshwari temple, uh, one of the village and there will be a forest check post. In this region you can spot so many, so many butterflies on the road. I mean you can see or not see, I am not able that uh, is it clearly visible or not. But actually there will be a ton of butterflies will be like uh, floating on the road over here and uh, this is the octopus viewpoint. Actually, I think it wouldn't be such uh, like uh, such worthy for us to go right now because uh, we are already getting late. So we decided to go head back uh, and uh, here, uh, right here, right here after you see these boats now in this stretch only on the right side, you will be having a look over the octopus view, octopus view entry. And I prefer you if you want to go to the octopus view, I would prefer you go by like uh, in the morning like uh, at the time of sunrise time like uh, uh, nearly about 6 to 8 8 uh, 8 is enough guys and in the sunset timing so that uh, you can really enjoy the sunrise and the sunset both of the timing that will be really fine and really far good for you people yeah pla this guy tanaji guy Front man. Red Adra. Guys, literally, you can have this. Have a look at this, guys. 
there is a route right over there we have to go in that way but just have a look over here how beautiful it is really we have to appreciate the beauty of the nature whenever we have time man see guys how beautiful it is Yeah guys and this uh, is getting darker right now we are very close to the amangal and uh, at amangal we are we got no plans to do like uh, we not going to stop right over there directly we will be heading towards our location and then we will get chilled chilled out for now it's going really good and the pace is also going really well uh, the like insects and the kind of like uh, opposite traffic is a kind of disturbance right for us to maintain our pace because uh, the headlights have been hitting our hitting out in our directly into our eyes itself okay and uh, as we have to reach the gachiboli gachiboli area so it's very uh, very easy and comfortable way to avoid the traffic we can use the airport through airport we will be reaching the orr service road in the rajendra nagar and from the we, from the back side itself we can easily reach to the gachiboli circle and uh, right now we are at the uh, exactly we are at the airport uh, terminals so and from in this way we gonna reach the shamshabad from shamshabad we gonna reach the rajendra nagar service road from behind and then we gonna head towards the gachiboli and that's the plan for right now okay and we have done with the tea break and you can see this is the s bar so which is located in the shamshabad hmm i <laughs> yeah literally our sagar has been fed up with the heat and uh, he just used his short to avoid the heat <laughs> from sri shalom he has been not from the sri shalom from the uh, dindi project we were like halted for a while right over there he was been riding over the short itself from there see <laughs> is a private private bus and still it is full fully occupied man yo hi hello gachiboli finally reached the gachiboli guys it's 9:00 uh, clock 9 uh, pm and uh, you can see there's a lot of traffic really right now we are heading to my friend's place uh, it is in the uh, nanakram guda and from there i will be heading after the preparation of the packages and all that uh, and we heading to my like uh, As you can have a look over here, you can, guys, you can have a look over here. This is a police vehicle, and you just see how the police people have been using the car for their family purposes. Right. <laughs> and guys, uh, after the now we have been riding since uh, afternoon 12:30, as we have departed from the room and from the Sri Shalom. it's a fun we have been like uh, facing a lot of uh, heat and uh, rugged roads here and later on as of till now the most difficult part uh, for us is like uh, uh, only the dehydration guys the time we have been having like 1 liter to 2 liters of water at a time 1 liter of water we are taking a multiple hearts wherever you stop wherever you do photo shoot we are taking in we were like having the liquids and till because of that also we didn't even pee once also yeah and there is saga right in front of us we were cruising we were been like squeezing out of this uh... yo guys and uh, 
Uh, right now we have reached our destination, final destination. I'm very close to my home and uh, the ride was fantastic and awesome. It has gone really well and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and please do watch out the vlog your travel signing off see ya guys very soon ride safe stay happy bye guys